Hello, and welcome to this edition of the Multinational Battle Group East K-418 Report. I'm Army Sergeant First Class Carlos Berger with the 11th Public Affairs Detachment. This week, we give you a story on K-4's premier training event, as well as coverage from a marathon in the Republic of Macedonia. But first, here's a birthday message from the Sergeant Major of the Army. For 239 years, the United States Army has protected this nation and the American people. Our all-volunteer force continues to make a difference every day in securing our freedoms and maintaining peace. Because of your commitment to our Army's values, we remain the best Army in the world and most professional in our nation's history. Soldiers, families, and civilians have all played a vital role in that heritage. So be proud on this Army birthday. The multinational units of Kosovo Force 18 engaged in the region's ultimate crowd ride control exercise, known as Silver Sabre, to strengthen their partnership and remain mission ready. When we're here, this is a truly multinational environment. You know, we have, we're training here right now with five different uh, nationalities. And the, uh, the, the biggest plus about this is you, you gain a lot of knowledge from other, other countries, the way they do, do their stuff and the way their tactics works. The three-day training event challenged the K-4 units with drills that involved shielding themselves from thrown objects such as Molotov cocktails. As the K-4 aviation assets brought in the crowd ride control reinforcements, the Freedom of Movement detachment cleared the way for them to advance towards the rioters. It's the full gamut of threats that we could face in a CRC environment. Um, which, uh, of course, brought together uh, makes Silver Sabre really unique. And then again, having the Kosovo police out here as well, Multinational Battle Group West and multi Multinational Battle Group East uh, is truly what makes this training unique. As you can see from the clear debris behind me, the multinational units of K-418 pulled out all the stops to make sure that Silver Sabre was as realistic a training as possible. Silver Sabre 2014 provided a real world training for Kosovo's multinational forces. Reporting from Camp Varello, Kosovo, I'm Army Sergeant Ricky Perez. Runners from the international community participated in the 2014 Skopje Marathon in an event that gave some K-418 soldiers an enjoyable time away from work. It was fun to see everybody as we were running around. You got to see all the people that came out and you know say hi and motivate everybody, you know, yelling at your, your battle buddies. It was good. The annual marathon saw participation from a diverse crowd and featured a full or half marathon as well as a five-kilometer race. The participants ran laps that spanned alongside the scenic Macedonia Square. Great town, got to see a lot of it. It was a fantastic experience. It's a good place here. The Skopje Marathon provided a good time for a multinational crowd. Reporting from Skopje, Republic of Macedonia, I'm Army Sergeant Ricky Perez. with 2nd Squadron, 38th Cavalry Regiment, undergo physical assessment and compete for a chance to attend the United States Army Ranger School. U.S. soldiers commemorate Memorial Day at Camp Bonsteel by having an early morning formation along with the 10-kilometer race of remembrance for the soldiers who gave all. A rider throws a tire at Sylvanian soldiers during the Silver Sabre exercise at Camp Varello to test the skills and reaction of the troops in training. The Armenian contingent celebrates their day of independence by hosting a ceremony and having a cookout on Camp Bonsteel. And that's it for K-4 Through the Lens. I'm Army Sergeant Cody Barber. For more images, please visit the MMBG East page on Flickr. Kosovo Security Forces, with guidance from soldiers from the 504th Battlefield Surveillance Brigade, put some of their best troops through a leader's reaction course. Sergeant Ricky Perez went to their compound in Farazai, Kosovo, to find out more. 
future leaders of the Kosovo Security Forces Training and Doctrine Command, with guidance from the 504th Battlefield Surveillance Brigade, participated in a leader's reaction course at their compound in Ferizai, Kosovo. I believe it will help us increase our professionalism and physical skills, but also will help us prepare our reactive leadership. The equipment, um, the boards. It'll help them realize that they need to become leaders and become uh, creative and, and productive team members. So that will help them have the in-house experience to conduct their missions in the future. Reporting from Farazai, Kosovo, I'm Army Sergeant Ricky Perez. For the latest news on the multinational battle group East, please visit our Facebook page. That's all the time we have for this report. See you next time.